Today, we're gonna make some lamb chops. These things are fantastic. You gotta give them a try. We're gonna show you just how to do it. Hey, it's Chef with Barbecue Plus, and today we're gonna do some lamb. So we've got some lamb loin chops, and these are from Costco, imported from Australia via Costco. And uh, these are just looking great. I'm excited about putting this together. We've got about two and a half pounds. This runs $6.99 a pound for these lamb chops. So it's pretty economical. We went on a trip last fall to Greece and just had a lot of lamb and it was really fantastic. So that's why I wanted to delve a little bit more into making some lamb. So I think I'm going to cook this on charcoal. That'll be a good way to prepare it. This is going to be on a Weber kettle grill with some lump charcoal. And we're going to do this for dinner tonight. But before that, I'm going to marinate it. So I've got all my ingredients here to be able to build that marinade. We're going to put it into a plastic Ziploc bag and put it in the refrigerator for about four to five hours in preparation so that marinade can really get into the meat. Let's go for the first step here, which is we're going to use a half cup of olive oil. So there we go. And now we've got a quarter cup of red wine vinegar. All right, now I've minced up eight cloves of garlic. These are pretty good sized garlic cloves. There's a quarter cup of finely minced rosemary. This was fresh. If you don't have fresh, and if you just need to use some of the dry, you'll probably want to go with a little bit less, maybe half that amount. And now we've got some honey to add in here. And this is two teaspoons of honey. This was a local honey. That should add some nice sweetness to it. Now we've got good old pepper. Two teaspoons of pepper. Two teaspoons of salt. And this is a teaspoon of Cavender's Greek seasoning. So this has got a wonderful smell to it. I can definitely smell a little bit of cumin in there. This is gonna be some great stuff, so we're gonna add that in as well. And now we're simply gonna mix this all up and make a great marinade. Mm. This is terrific. So that honey is a little bit sticky, so that's what we really want to make sure that that gets all the way through here. And I think that's good. So now that the marinade is all done, we're gonna take these lamb chops. These things are just so cute. And we're gonna drop those all into a Ziploc bag making sure that they're all and now we're gonna pour that marinade right in on top of it and make sure and scrape that all out since we've got a lot of garlic and also a lot of that rosemary Mm, the smell of that is just fantastic. So now it just needs to get all happy in the refrigerator. I'm gonna to try to get as much air out of there as possible. And we're just gonna kind of roll it around about every half hour, 45 minutes this afternoon. Just making sure that that marinade gets equally distributed and gets all those surfaces of the lamb covered. Then a little bit later, we're gonna fire up the charcoal grill and put them on and get this rolling. So here they are, completed with them um, marinating, and we're ready to put them on the charcoal. We've got the Thermopro ready because we want to cook these to 140 degrees. I've set this up for indirect cooking. You can see that there's charcoal on one side and the other side is open. That's where we're going to put these, is on the open side because we don't want to go directly over as we want to have these kind of 
slow cook a little bit and then we'll probably finish them up with a sear right on top of that hot zone. Boy, if you could smell these, these are absolutely wonderful. Keeping them as far as we can away from the fire. So you can see where we've put that lid on with the vent right over top of where the meat is. So that way the heat comes up and the smoke and it goes across and then it comes back out. So that should give us the best cook here. We're seeing that we're right over top of the heat there and we're pegging around 400 degrees. It'll be a little bit lower. We're really aiming for about 250 over on the side here. So we're going to let these guys go for a little while, check in. We want them to be 140 degrees. We will flip one time for sure. Put them on top of the charcoal for a sear at the end. Good way to check what our temperature is coming out of here. So this is good. It looks like we're probably, oh, maybe a little bit under 300. All right, I think we're getting pretty close here. We're probing in about 125 on those that are closer. There's 130. We're targeting to pull these at about 140. So I think what I'm gonna do at this point is just move these fellas over top and give them just a little bit of a sear before I pull them off. We're gonna sear each side for probably not more than about a minute or so. We're right over where the charcoal is, so we're going to get the most heat on that. But this smells just fantastic. Okay, these guys are all probing in about 140. So they'll have a little bit of carryover cook here. We want to get them to about 145. Check it out, that lamb is looking just wonderful. Oh, this turned out great. Pulled them off at about 140 degrees. Gave them a few minutes to come up to 145, which is where they need to be. And now we're going to try them out. So there's two sides to this. It's kind of like a mini T-bone. You've got the ribeye side which we're going to try right here. Hmm. Great. Really tender. That marinade really turned out well on there. Really enjoyed that. Now we're going to go for the filet part of it. Let's see what this tastes like. Hmm. That is wonderful also. Um, it's got kind of a sweetness to it. I didn't really think I liked lamb that much. Tried it on the cruise that we were on, loved it, and now I'm a fan, especially after cooking in my own backyard. This is great stuff. Hey, if you like what we're doing here on Barbecue Plus, I would appreciate if you would give me a thumbs up and subscribe, turn on those notifications, give me any comments. I love seeing your comments and responding to those. And the most important thing is, to plan what you're going to cook in your backyard this weekend. And hey, thanks for watching. Mm, so good.